I'm collective. This is your daily clarity reading. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your wisdom, your guidance, your inspiration, your protection, and above all, your presence with us. This is your clarity reading for August 27th. Happy New Moon in Virgo. I'll be posting and doing all the sign in New Beginnings readings for after this new moon coming up too as well. Anyway, this is a reading for those folks that are trying to hone in on their soul's purpose, like trying to decipher, you know, through the shadow work and things like that, what, you know, what they, what they need to do, what, what they need to be for the planet, right? In the higher energy of things, who they are, trying to get some clarity on all of that. Okay, it's about coming into your higher purpose. What is your joy? What is your passion? We've got the warrioress. You have the ability to conquer your fears and faults and the right to defend who you are, who you love, and what you believe in. Authentic truth. So it's about finding out who you are, who you love, and what you believe in and defending that. Okay? Standing up in that, claiming your power. And that can be part of a journey, right? Part of a process, which we've all gone through. Many have gone through before us. Many will go through after us. Sometimes you go through this at certain phases of your life in certain aspects of your life. The fortune teller, number 43, also goes into a seven. Being open to possibilities and trusting your intuition to interpret the answers from the wide, excuse me, wild goddess oracle to help you to help others. So you're being called to listen to your intuition here, to tune in to your own divinity of spirit, okay? And listen to the messages that spirit is giving you. We also have the warrior, as in warrior. Know that you have the power to defeat negative thinking. Learn to understand and cope with your greatest enemy, your own fear. So you're being called to move past that. As you step into your power here, okay, that is going to naturally fall away for you, okay? Uh, it's, it is a process, collective, and I understand it's a painful process. Uh, just remember the butterfly who goes into the cocoon and as a caterpillar and comes out this magnificent creature, right? So we've got the nine of wands for you. I feel like this is the card right before harvest here. Okay, this can also be when people feel like the most burned out. Okay, which is why you're being called to, you know, <clears throat> to know to conquer your fears and your faults. Okay, it's not about perfection. It's about being right here right now in this moment and accepting yourself for who you are and the fact that you're healing. Things like I'm healing, I'm growing rather than, oh, I need to do this or I didn't do this right. It's I am healing, I am growing, right? You're right before the abundance here, okay? So just hang tight, know that it's coming in. Two of Cups, I feel like this is a representation of partnering with the divine in this process, in this calling, okay? It can also be a, call, a card of marriage, all right, uh, for what we're talking about here as far as clarity, it's about a partnership with the divine. It's divinely given. And as you learn to align and tune in uh, through your daily practice, okay, you're going to tune into spirit and it's going to be a reciprocal. You're going to know what that energy feels like, what that peace, what that joy feels like. And then you'll be able to identify it as you go out into the world. Five of Swords here, I feel like some of you have either people around you or drama around you. There might be gossip. There might be people upset that you are moving forward and doing your work. Sorry, I have to get up and get these cards that flew. Okay, and know that this is part of the process. Okay, if this is happening inside of you, realize that you just kind of need to seek peace. 
just be still, do whatever tools and practices you need to do to kind of get calm in that moment. I've got the King of Wands and before that pulled out was the Four of Swords. Okay, so I, again, I feel like you guys are kind of going through it here. Like, you know there's a harvest coming, you, you continue to partner with the Divine and you're feeling like there's this tumultuous stuff going on, okay? And it just, you know, it's receding, but it's gradual, right? We go from the five down to the four. The King of Wands is the energy that I'm picking up comes out of this for you. The King of Wands is the divine masculine energy who is very dependable, okay? He's fair, he's just, he is a nurturer. That's why he can harvest like actual growth, okay? So this is about knowing that as you go through this process, you're going to come out with this, this king energy, okay? It's about trusting in the divine, okay? And trusting in yourself, your intuition. Let go of these worries and fears here. Let go of that and tune into your intuition, okay? And your faith. We've got the Ace of Cups. This is divinely given to you. Queen of Cups energy as well. And temperance. You're called to have patience with yourself here. This is not happening to you. It's happening for you. This is a divine cup of love that has been given to you to give you the opportunity to release all of this stuff that came down through generations, down through society, that has nothing to do with you that you've been carrying. So you can come out lighter on the other side. Okay? Or through whatever that looks like. The only way out is through, I can tell you that. And you're gonna have this Queen of Cups energy here, which is a person that is divine, it's divine feminine energy, right? It's very nurturing. She is able to openly give and receive love here, okay? In a very balanced way. You're called to have patience with this process. This process that you're going through is magnanimous. It's, you know, you are clearing generations of trauma here, okay? And your bloodline will benefit immensely. Every generation that comes after you is, is going to have a huge level up, okay? Because you've done this work. We've got the Knight of Wands coming through here. You might be getting some messages coming in, okay, regarding some projects that you're working on, all right? Um you're going to master up in this King of Wands energy. So you will be prepared as long as you keep moving forward. Try to call in those energies of that King of Wands and that Queen of Cups, right? To keep moving forward. Two of Wands, I feel like, here, I'm going to set these here. You're going to be, you know, you're you're going to be looking out. This, this message that's coming in is something that's kind of outside of your atmosphere here. It's something out in the world. It's going to pull in uh, some money for you. Okay. You might have some assistance. You might be timid at first, but this is going to be financial or spiritual wealth for you. This project that's coming in for you. Okay. This growth that you're doing. Okay. And you're going to have choices here. All right. Also, this can be a card of kind of like nostalgia, like looking back and kind of, you know, seeing all your growth, okay? And we need to do that from time to time, okay? So you've got some big energies here, right? You've got the King of Wands, okay? These are incremental changes that you're doing. You go from Knight to, to you know, to King energy here. You've got the Queen of Cups down here. So just know that you're on the right path, collective. I don't know how else to say it, really, except that you're on the right path. You know, it's basically about learning how to be authentic, really learning who you are. I mean, really, what your limitations are, what your passions are, what your joys are. We've got perception. Number 42, that's a big part of this, is your mindset. How you see the world okay, is what gets reflected back to you. And you're calling in the queen here, which is awesome. Number four, woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, friendship. That's going to help you along the way here. 
Okay. And again, there is no gender in tarot. It could be just energies that you're pulling in to help you on your path. Okay. I'm going to do a quick health card reading for you. Is there anything that, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Prayer works. Dear Divine and Archangel Raphael, thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. And then you can fill that in. Come to it in gratitude. Know that it's already being answered. It's already being taken care of. Okay? But it's good to voice it out loud. Okay? Getting the words out. Getting it out into the air. Whether it's to yourself, to another person, in meditation. But voice it. Okay? Okay? Massage. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me know that I deserve to receive massages and other forms of self-care treatments. It's about taking care of yourself, knowing your worth. This is huge work that you're doing. Okay, you need to take care of yourself. You have earned it, collective. Like I said, this is hard work that you're doing. And I keep having to bend over here. Apparently, I need to exercise again. <laughs> Live with compassion, work with compassion, die with compassion, meditate with compassion, enjoy with compassion. When problems come, experience them with compassion. And I'm really feeling led again to say that it's compassion towards yourself as well. I'm going to pull one more card for you. This is an oracle card. What can we give for the collective? Coming into these new beginnings after this new moon. Yay, everybody doing the work right? It does get easier. It does get easier. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Take good care of yourself. It starts with self-care and then that care that you're giving yourself reflects out into the world. So my clarity people, take good care of yourselves, okay? Listen to your intuition, all right? Know your truth. Figure out who you are. Take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And be kind out there.